Hi and welcome to spotlight video number 11. Some of you have probably realized that we missed our upload last week and that we are already late for this week. This is partially because we are very busy right now preparing for the mock competition this coming weekend. But it's also because now that we are moving closer to the actual competition date, we have less and less updates from our side because most of the details in the specifications and the software are fixed by now. There is not a lot to talk about, or at least not as much as we had to talk about and update you for the last weeks. But still, here we are again, so let's talk about what has been going on in the previous two weeks. First of all, the second round of um, robot model submissions was due already in the end of May and all teams should have received feedback on this second submission in the beginning of this week. We also have the first robot models approved by now, so some teams have valid robot models now and some of these robot models are on our website. I will link the website in the description below. So on the team's website, you will now find some approved robot models. So if you are still struggling getting your own robot model um, to meet the requirements, you can have a look at how these teams implemented their robot models and also reach out to them if you have some questions about specific specifics in their implementation. Um, note that we also needed to make some small adjustments again to the robot model specification document, which mostly concerns a minimal arm length and also requirement for a custom data field. And um, we've also provided some more details and clarifications which were requested by teams or which we again noted in the second uh, submission. So you'll find an updated version of this now on our website. If your team does not have a robot model approved yet, the next deadline for you to submit an updated version is the 11th of June. If you are in the meantime facing problems meeting the requirements um, for your robot model or you don't understand some feedback that you receive by the reviewers, don't hesitate to reach out to the organizers on Discord. There is a specific Discord channel now that is called Robot Model Questions and just give a brief um, description of the problem you're facing in this channel and then one of the organizers reach out, will reach out via direct message to you. Part of this robot model validation in the second round was an automated um, robot verification tool. This is something that we have custom built and uh, you will now find uh, a version of this for you to look into and also use for your own team and to prepare your robot for being validated in the next submission on, on our GitHub. So on the Robocop Humanoid uh, League GitHub in our custom WeBots branch, you will find this tool included now and also documentation on how to run it. So you can now uh, try and validate your own robot models before resubmitting them. This tool takes care of things like um, displaying the joint properties or computing the dimensions of the robot as you've seen in the PDF that you have received with the second round of robot model reviews now. Another update that we have made was to the server specification document. There are two important changes in this document. First of all, in order to receive the private log files, so these are the robot, the, these are the log files that are written by your robot control software inside the Docker image that we are running. Um, and this can contain anything that you want to have as custom logs for your team. Images, um, text files, whatever you want as custom log files, up to 10 gigabytes per robot. And in order to receive those log files, you need to provide us as organizers either with an SFTP or an AWS, AWS S3 storage instance access. Um, and to give us this access, there is now the possibility to upload a credentialed.json file to the Humanoid League submission website. So in the new normal submission system where you're also submitting your robot models and the team JSON, you will now find another upload for this uh, credentials. And if you're wondering how exactly these credentials need to look like both for the SFTP and for the AWS 
S3 instance, you can just have a look into the specifications where all of this is detailed and some examples are given as well. As we've announced previously, for different reasons in the cloud, we can neither use broadcast nor multicast. So to work around this and still provide a setup to teams that is similar to what they're used to, we've now written our own UDP service that takes care of forwarding the packages. And this is implemented in Python and is already included in the autoreferee version that we have updated in the beginning of this week. So if you're starting the autoreferee now, you will also uh, be able to start the UDP service that takes care of um, transmitting the messages. And you now have two different ports for communication. So to receive updates from the game controller as you are used to, you have to listen to port 3838. And via this, you will receive the updates from the game controller. Similar, you will be able to send updates, um, so your own game controller return messages to the game controller via port 3939. So all of the setup stays um, exactly as it was in the previous years for the teams. The main difference now is for teams to communicate between robot instances of your own team. You can now send and listen to port 3737. So if you send to port 3737, our UDP service will make sure that the package is distributed to all other robots in your own team. So it's not going to be distributed to robots from the other team and you will also not receive the package back. So it's only distributed to the other robots within your team. As it is already available, as I said, in the latest WeBots version on our GitHub, so check this out um, and try it out before the mock comp to make sure that you can actually communicate between robot instances. Speaking of the mock competition, this is coming up now um, this weekend. So we start on Friday and this is both an opportunity for us as organizers to test our infrastructure, but of course also for teams to test their software under realistic conditions. All information, including a streaming schedule, is now already up on the RoboCup Humanoid League website. I'll also link this in the description down below, so check this out. We will be streaming all games on Twitch, so even if your team is not participating in the mock competition, you may want to watch some of the games and just see what the current state of the league preparation is and how other teams are doing and, and playing. If you are participating in the mock competition, you should have received an email with some important organizational updates uh, this Monday. So please make sure you read them carefully and understand all the details in there. Particularly if you do want to receive your custom log files, make sure that you upload the credentials.json file by this Thursday. So tomorrow. Uh, 4 p.m. Central European Summer Time and also make sure that you submit your first Docker image on time. So as you can see um, with uploading four hours for round robin games before the streaming schedule, the first teams need to upload their Docker images already um, very early in the morning Central European Summer Time. So just check out the schedule and make sure that you have a first version of your Docker image push to our container registry on time. If you're still facing issues with creating these Docker images or pushing them to our registry, we also have a specific channel for Docker questions now on Discord. So similar to the robot model questions, just write a quick uh, description of your problem and um, uh, write this in this specific uh, Discord channel and then one of the organizers will reach out to you via direct message and try to solve this with you. This is already it for the updates from the last two weeks. Now to the upcoming uh, deadlines. There is again um, a very short list of, of deadlines now. The next thing that is coming up is obviously the mock competition this weekend, June 4th to June 6th. Then on June 7th, that is next Monday, the team registration ends. So please make sure that if you uh, want to compete in the main competition and you also make sure that your team is registered for the official RoboCup event. 
and the deadline for registering your team is this upcoming Monday. And then on June 11th, you will have the final submission of your robot model. So for teams that do not have the robot model approved yet, you will have the next deadline for submitting your robot models on June 11th. This is all from my side for today. We as organizers will try to stay as available as possible now for any questions and updates. So even if the office hours for this week is already um, over, uh, don't hesitate to always write us on Discord in one of the official channels and reach out with any kind of questions that you might be facing. And we'll try to help all teams as quickly as possible. And then I'll see you again next week to talk a little bit about how the mock competition went and all the updates that may be required now that we've seen some actual games during the mock competition. I hope to see some of you at least during the mock competition and uh, see how it's going for your teams. And I'm, I'm also encourage all of you to watch the games um, during this weekend and um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy the state of the league as it is right now. See you next week.